hello dear student i hope you enjoyed the last lecture of this course in which we talk about benefits of industrial wastewater and cost of industrial wastewater today's lecture we will discuss about various methods of volume reduction for industrial waste water so the outline includes two points one is benefits of volume reduction and second which are the methods for reduction of volume so benefits of volume reduction obviously if you reduce volume of wastewater which requires treatment it results in direct reduction of cost of treatment as well as disposal of wastewater and as explained in the last lecture the reduction in cost of wastewater treatment results in increase in profit of industry so there are various methods of volume reduction for industrial wastewater and we will study this methods one by one okay so the first method is classification and segregation of what obviously of sources of wastewater so there are multiple sources of waste water separation of manufacturing or process waste water from waste water arising from utility purposes okay then what happens is the process water is contaminated and requires extensive treatment whereas waste waters from utility is normally not much contaminated or sometimes it is not at all contaminated and it has higher potential for reuse and recycling so what will be the outcome of this Uh, segregation is only most polluted like waste waters from manufacturing process we can send it for etp whereas relatively uncontaminated or less contaminated streams or sources they are segregated and then with or without treatment they can be reused or recycled so ultimately the volume of water which requires extensive or intensive treatment is reduced considerably by this method the second method is conservation of water obviously the water which is conserved is water which is saved from entering into waste stream and if you prevent water from entering waste stream it results in reduction of volume of waste water okay so pause the video for some time and think about various methods which can be employed in the industry for conservation of water
I hope that you might have thought on methods like installation of water meters. So, you have water budget, you know how much water is required for which purpose. If you install water meters, you will have a count on how much water is used. And if there is vast difference, obviously it will indicate yeah, somewhere which section and where water is wasted. Okay? So, then you can implement water conservation methods. The another method is to control pressure. If water is supplied at higher pressure, then per unit time more water is released and if you regulate pressure, then this volume is reduced. So, regulating pressure, maintaining only optimum pressure for the purpose for which water is used, also a good method to prevent waste of water. The third is installation of automatic valves. So, normally this results in release of prefixed volume of water. So, you just release how much water is needed rather than manually uh, operating. So, here the automatic system, yes, you have good control on waste of water, it avoids the wasting of water. Next, use of spring closing sanitary fixture. You know, normally uh, in industry, the workers are not highly educated and uh, you have to provide sanitation facilities. So, the tendency is that the taps once open, they are left open only. After the purpose is served, the workers or people do not turn it off. So, to prevent waste of water, the industry can use spring closing sanitary fixtures. Now, what are these fixtures? So, to release water from this taps or fixtures, you need to apply pressure like you might have observed on railway station or in trains or many public places. As long as you apply pressure, the water is released and if you uh, remove the pressure, then water stops. So, when not required, the water is not wasted. And another method is to have regular leak surveys because so many pipelines conveying water are there in industrial unit and regular leak surveys will be very good method to identify leaking points, leaking pipelines so that immediately this can be repaired. So, today we have discussed two methods for volume reduction and in the next lesson that is lesson number 5, we will continue with remaining methods of volume reduction. Thank you everyone.